Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Today we're going to continue reading our fiction story, Brave Girl. Yesterday we started the story. We learned that Clara is our main character. We learned that Clara had just moved to New York City. So we had know our setting in 1909. We learned that Clara's father was not able to get, to get a job, but Clara was able to find work as a garment worker or someone who works in a factory making clothes. Today, as we continue to read the story, I want you to think about Clara. We're going to be learning more about her and the factory that she works in. Today we're going to be discussing her character traits. So not only what she looks like, but also how she acts. Let's keep reading to find out more from the story. From dawn to dusk, she's locked up in a factory. Rows and rows of young women bend over their tables, stitching collars, sleeves, and cuffs as fast as they can. Hurry up! Hurry up! The bosses yell. Rat -a -tat -tat -tat, rat -a -tat -tat -tat, hisses Clara's machine. The sunless room is stuffy from all the bodies crammed inside. There are two, two filthy toilets, one sink, and three towels for 300 girls to share. Looking at this illustration, we can see the rows of the girls sitting with their sewing machines making shirts. For 300 people to share, only two bathrooms with one sink and only three towels. Clara learns the rules. If you're a few minutes late, you lose half a day's pay. If you prick your finger and bleed on the cloth, you're fined. If it happens a second time, you're fired. So sewing machines have a sharp part where the thread goes into the cloth. If you accidentally prick your finger and bleed, you have to pay money. That's what being fined means. If it happens two times, you're fired, meaning you no longer are able to work there. The doors are locked and you're inspected every night before you leave to be sure you haven't stolen anything from the factory. Let's stop and take a minute. How do you think Clara and the other workers feel? Would you want to work in a place like this? But Clara is un crushable. She wants to read. She wants to learn. At the end of her shift, though her eyes hurt from straining in the gaslight and her back hurts from hunching over the sewing machine, she walks to the library. She fills her empty stomach 
with a single glass of milk and goes to school at night. When she gets home in the late evening, she sleeps only a few hours before rising again. So after reading these two pages, we learned a little bit about Clara. Let's just remember that Clara should be going to school. Back in Monday's reading, it says right here, so instead of carrying books to school, many girls carry sewing machines to work. Instead of going to school to learn, these girls are having to go to work to help support their family because their fathers cannot get jobs. We learned that the working conditions are not that great. And after a hard day's work, Clara goes to the library to learn. We're going to stop reading here for today and we're going to start to think about Clara and her character traits. I was able to make a chart. If you're able to get a piece of paper, you can draw a line going down the middle. And I want us to start thinking about character traits. So what a character looks like as well as their actions, what the character did or does in the story. I wrote character trait on the left hand side and on the right hand side I wrote text. I'm actually going to write the word evidence. We learned a few different things about Clara after today's reading. We're going to write what we learned about Clara on the left hand side and then we're going to write the page number that lets us know how we know that that's definitely a character trait. So, thinking about what we know about Clara, we know that Clara is an immigrant girl. I wrote that on the left hand side and looking back I know from pages 5 lets us know that Clara should be in school. I'm going to put P period 5. Right here it says many girls carry sewing machines to work. I wrote this on the right hand side of my chart. Now let's think about what we read today and some new facts we learned about Clara. Right now I'm looking at page 9. What did you learn from page 9? It says right here, she wants to read, she wants to learn. I'm 
I'm going to write the word eager, meaning wanting to. So she's eager to learn. I got this on page 9. So I'm going to write that under the text evidence column, page 9. It says, wants to read, comma, she wants to learn. What else did we learn about Clara on page 9 and page 10? What else can we add to our graphic organizer or our list of character traits? Page 10 talks about how after working all day, Clara goes to the library and she gets home late and only has a few hours of sleep. I would say that Clara is very hard working. She works hard at the factory, at her job, then she works hard at the library to study. So under our graphic organizer, I'm gonna write hard, working. Page 10 helped me with my text evidence. And I'm going to say gets home late in the evening. Are you able to come up with one more character trait? What is one more thing you would say about Clara? What page helped you get your answer? Using what we did together, as well as adding one more character trait, you're going to take this and turn it into a paragraph for today's writing.